Hello everybody, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a multi-block swapper for your wall in Bedrock Edition. Just like the multi-block swapper that we created for the floor a couple of weeks ago, this build has the same idea in mind, except for your wall. This build is very easy to make, it is very resource friendly, meaning we can create this early on in our survival world or realm, and of course we can hide this away from anyone that wants to snoop around in our base. So how this works, we press this button right here. That's going to swap to our crafting table, or whatever block you'd like that to be. We press it again, that's going to swap to our chest. And then if we press it once more, that's going to swap back to our wall block. Now to hide this away, all we simply have to do is remove the button, take it with us. So all we're left with is a plain wall. And then when we're ready to use it again, we place our button down, and then it's all good to go. To make this multi-block swapper for your wall, you will need a 5x4 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for today's build. As always, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. What we want to do first is create our piston feed tape. So to do that, what we want to do is come down the center here, three blocks back and one block to the left. Grab your sticky piston and place it facing up. Get a regular piston. We want to skip a block right here and place a regular piston facing up just like that. Now go ahead and grab some blocks, come to the back center right here and place a block up like that. We're going to fill this in, come a block up right here. And then we also want to come a block up right there. So your pattern should look just like that. Now what we want to do is place in our other two pistons. So on the left side here, go ahead and throw down a temporary block and then place a piston facing forward, just like that above the sticky piston. On the right side here, what we want to do is come a block up like this. And on top of this block right here, we want to place another piston facing that direction. So it should look just like that. Now all we have to do is wire this up. So right here in between these two pistons, we're going to go ahead and place down redstone dust. So it should be running into both pistons like that. On this side with the sticky piston, go ahead and throw down a repeater running into that block and set that to 4 ticks. On this side, go ahead and run a repeater into this block and then we're going to set that to 2 ticks. Get your redstone dust, place dust right here and redstone dust right there. And there we go, we have ourselves a working piston feed tape. So if we throw a button down right here, you can see how that's going to work. Now that our piston feed tape is all wired up, it's time to wire up the piston that's going to be extending our block forward once all of our blocks have swapped. So what we want to do is come to the back block right here, throw down a redstone torch on top, get your sticky piston, place it right above the redstone torch like that, and that will extend. Now we can go ahead and place in our blocks that we would like to swap. So I'm going to start off with the wall block right here. The last block in line will go right above this redstone dust, just like that. And then our second block in line will go right above this piston right there. So that is all set up. Now if we throw down a button right here, we can go ahead and test it out. So if we press it, that's going to swap. And then if we press it, it's going to swap to our chest. And then of course, if we press it once more, it's going to swap back to our wall block. Now all we have to do is place in our floor and our wall. So this is going to be the bottom block of our wall. Now what we want to do is place a stair above it like that, just so we can access our chest when we swap them around. And then go ahead and build around it just like this. And then we can go ahead and place in our floor. Just like that. And then down below, we do need to be able to wire this. So I like to place the button right here. You can do wherever you'd like. So we can go ahead and knock this out just like this. Bring this around. And then we just line it up with redstone dust. And then that will connect. And there you have it, everyone. A multi-block swapper for your wall in Bedrock Edition. This is the end of our tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.